a show of unity on Capitol Hill following the shooting of Representative Steve Scalise at a baseball practice yesterday. Tracy Carrasco with the very latest now from Washington for us. Tracy, good morning. Good morning to you, Lauren and Lori. Now, we are not even 24 hours after that horrific shooting that injured Congressman Steve Scalise, another congressional staffer, a United States Capitol police officer, and a lobbyist. Now, politicians from both sides of the aisle are speaking out and they're coming together. We are united in our shock. We are united in our anguish. An attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. It's in the family. It's an injury in the family uh, for the staff and for our colleague and for his leadership. Yesterday, the president and first lady visited MedStar Washington Hospital where Scalise and other victims are being treated. Now, that was an unexpected visit. And late last night, Scalise's office issued this update about his condition. It said, quote, Congressman Steve Scalise sustained a single rifle shot to the left hip. The bullet traveled across his pelvis fracturing bones, injuring internal organs, and causing severe bleeding. He was transported in shock to MedStar Washington Hospital Center, a level one trauma center. He underwent immediate surgery and an additional procedure to stop bleeding. He has received multiple units of blood transfusion. His condition is critical and he will require additional operations. Meanwhile, the investigation into the suspect, 66-year-old James Hodgkinson, is ongoing. The FBI not releasing very many details right now, but they do believe Hodgkinson traveled from his home in Bellevue, Illinois, and has been in Virginia since March. Now, the FBI issued this poster. They're asking the public for any help. To the local Alexandria community, we believe that the shooter has been living out of his vehicle in the vicinity of East Monroe, Street, therefore asking you to report any interactions that you may have had with him. The FBI is still looking for any motives. They're looking for his acquaintances, his whereabouts leading up to the shooting. They also want to know about that handgun and rifle that Hodgkinson had. They want to know where it came from, if it was purchased by him, how he acquired it. So far, they've also searched his home in Illinois, and they're scrubbing all of his electronic devices. Lauren and Lori, to get any information they can. Okay, thanks for the very latest on the ongoing investigation. Tracy Carrasco. Mm -hmm.